and welcome to Hoopla Kids Recipes. Have we got a treat for you! Today we're going to be making a Princess Elsa cake. Look how amazing she looks! So for this you're going to need 500 grams of white fondant icing, 300 grams of light blue icing, 1 kilogram of dark blue icing, 300 grams of buttercream frosting, chocolate sponge cakes. You're also going to need a polishing tool, Elsa letter cake cutters, snowflake cutters, a large cake board, a white bodice template, paintbrush decorating tools, a rolling pin, and an Elsa doll. You're also going to need some string. So the first thing we want to do is to lightly dust our tabletop. This is so when we roll out our fondant icing, it doesn't stick. I'm rolling out the white. We want to make a circle the size of our baseboard. Put the fondant icing on top. And cut around the edge. Now we're going to take our cake and we're going to cover it in buttercream frosting. Layer your second cake on top. It's like a big delicious sandwich. We're going to keep going. This is going to be the main part of the dress for Elsa. So we want to shape the top. It should come in as if it's sitting on her waist. We're now going to cover the entire thing in the buttercream frosting. Let it chill in the fridge for two hours. Once that's done, we get to add Elsa. We want to cut a circular shape in the top of our cake. We need it to be big enough for Elsa to sit in, like so. We're now going to use our string to measure the dimensions of the dress. Cut it so it's the right length and set it aside. Now we're going to use the dark blue to make her dress. And using our string, we know how big the dress needs to be. Clever, huh? Cut a circle in the middle. This is so that Elsa can sit in it. We're also going to cut a slit down the side. Place Elsa and her cake base on top of the white fondant icing. We're now going to place her light blue dress over the top. You might need to remove Elsa to do this. This is what it looks like from the side. It's great if it's got ripples because it makes it look like real fabric. Trim the bottom of the dress so it's not too long. We don't want her tripping over. I'm now wrapping Elsa in cling film. This is so she doesn't stick. Now we're going to use the bodice template to cut out the bodice shape on the dark blue fondant icing. I'm using my stamp to add some detail. Now we're going to apply some water to Elsa's body. This will make sure that the bodice sticks to her. Now I'm adding the dress. She 
Shape using your tools. This will make sure it fits perfectly. We're now going to roll out some of the light blue icing. We're going to make the sleeves, so we want two rectangle shapes. I'm applying some water to our sleeves. This means that they will attach themselves to the arms. We don't want our sleeves falling off. Let's pop our sleeves on. Use the shaping tool to make sure that the top is perfect. I'm now rolling out some of the light blue fondant icing. I want to make a really long, thin rectangle shape. This is going to be the detail at the top of Elsa's bodice. Add some water and apply it. Cut off any excess. Use the shaping tool to make sure you get a perfect finish. Now it's time for Elsa to sit in her dress. You might need to push her down a bit. I'm now taking some of the dark blue fondant icing and rolling it into a long spaghetti shape. This will hide the seam between her skirt and her bodice, so lay it on top. Now it's time to make her cloak. Roll out a light fondant icing. We want to make a big rounded square. And then cut it in half. We're going to add each half to the dress. It's looking great! Adjust it so that you're happy. And smooth down the top so that it sits nicely lined up with her bodice. Now let's add the other half. It might help if you paint some water on to make the fondant stick. Once again, use your shaping tool to fix any detail at the top. Remember, practice makes perfect. This is what it looks like so far. Isn't she looking great? I'm now using my snowflake stamp to add detail to the dress. I'm taking my white fondant icing and I'm going to cut out some actual snowflakes so that they can sit on top. I'm using a big cutter and a small cutter. I'm also using the dark blue and white fondant icing. Add a dab of water and then stick on your snowflake. The water acts like glue. I also want to write Elsa to stick it on the base plate. So use your cutters and cut out the letters. E L S 
And finally, A. Again, add a little bit of water. This will stick perfectly to the white base we created down a fondant icing. Doesn't she look amazing? I'm super excited to show you guys the finished product. If you want, you can add a little bit of edible glitter on top. You might add it to the snowflakes. Or perhaps her dress. This will give it a little bit of extra flair. I'm also sprinkling some glitter over the top. Make sure it's edible. And there you have it. She's done. Doesn't she look amazing? So pretty. And the best part is, you can eat it. Delicious. Wowee. A super amazing Princess Elsa cake. We have got an amazing video. It's a My Little Pony M&M cake. Look at Rainbow Dash. Doesn't she look great? For this, you're going to need 135 grams of orange M&Ms. 90 grams of purple, 90 grams of green, 90 grams of yellow, 90 grams of red, 150 grams of white fondant icing, 270 grams of dark blue M&Ms, and 360 grams of pale blue M&Ms. That is a lot of M&Ms. We're also going to need 250 grams of unsalted butter, 500 grams of icing sugar, and sponge cake to fit a My Little Pony cutout. Also, you're going to need some blue food coloring. To help decorate, we're going to need yellow writing icing, red writing icing, blue writing icing, and black fondant icing. You're also going to need a rainbow dash cutout the size of your cake. Is to add our butter and icing sugar to a bowl. We're going to mix this using an electric whisk. Add some blue food colouring to colour the mixture. Once you're sure you've got no lumps, we're going to take our blue icing and we're going to spread it on top of one of our cakes. We're going to add the other cake on top. It's kind of like a giant sandwich. Now we want to put our rainbow dash cutout on top of our cakes. We're going to cut around the edge. This means we'll get a giant rainbow dash shaped cake ready for decorating. This will take some time, so be patient. And there you have it. It's not meant to look perfect yet because we haven't decorated it. So we're going to cover the entire cake in blue icing. This is only a base coat, so it doesn't matter if you can see some of the cake underneath. We're going to refrigerate for two hours. Now that's done, we're going to add a second coat of icing. Smooth down the edges. Once you're happy with the icing, we're going to take a cocktail stick and we're going to sketch the outline of Rainbow Dash's detail. This will make it easier when we add the M&Ms. Now it's time for the fun bit, adding the M&Ms. I'm starting at the top, but you don't have to. You can start wherever you want. This is where it really helps that you've done an outline using a toothpick.
It's already looking amazing, right? The rainbow tail looks great. Don't forget to do the sides. And there we have it. It looks so cool. Now it's time to do some detail. I'm going to make Rainbow Dash's eye using white fondant icing. I'm going to add some colouring to make it dark purple. Set that aside. And now we're going to take some white fondant icing and cut the shape of Rainbow Dash's eye out. Roll out the dark purple. We want to cut an oval shape. This is going to sit on top of the white fondant icing. Just like so. Make sure you smooth down any edges. Now take the black icing. We're going to cut a smaller oval shape and add it on top of the purple. We've now got three layers. There's still one more to go and this is white. Add the white on top. And finally, we're going to take a tiny ball of white icing just to add a little bit more detail. Now we're going to add detail to Rainbow Dash's body. I'm cutting out a cloud shape first using a stamp. Now I'm going to use some flat fondant icing to make a lightning bolt. Stick the two together. Now using icing, we're going to add colour. I'm starting with red. then yellow. And blue. I'm outlining the cloud in black. This is so it stands out on the amazing rainbow that we got on her body. Don't forget to add detail. And then add it. Just like so. I'm using icing to stick the detail on, including the eye. Once the eye's in place, I'm using the black writing icing to go around the edge and to add eyelashes. This looks amazing! I'm so happy with how it's turned out! This would be perfect for a birthday party. And it's going to taste delicious! A My Little Pony M&M Cake. 
great! I'm going to show you how to make an Elsa shoe cake. Doesn't this look cool? So let's start off with our sponge cake. I'm using a bit of blue buttercream frosting to stick it onto a silver base. Once that's done, I'm going to add some more buttercream frosting on top. This is going to create the layer of the shoe. I'm now adding another bit of sponge on top of that and some more blue buttercream frosting. Spread it out. We want to square it off and I'm using a palette knife to do this. I'm going to add another layer on top of this and doesn't that look awesome already? Now I have a shoe template. I'm going to cut around the shoe to make a giant footprint shape. Use your knife to shape the curves. We want to make sure that it's nice and smooth. Just like this. Perfect. I now have another shoe template which I'm sticking to the side of the cake. And I'm going to use this one to shape the top of the shoe. Looking good. I'm cutting out a semicircle to make it look like a proper high heel. Great! This is already starting to take shape. I'm now going to do a bit more shaping at the toe, just to give it a bit of a curved effect. Now I'm taking some blue buttercream frosting and I'm adding it to the inside of the shoe. I'm also going to cover the top of the shoe. Use your knife to smooth down the icing. 
To get a really smooth finish, dip your knife in some hot water. Now I'm going to take some moulding chocolate. I've lightly dusted my worktop and I'm rolling it out flat. I'm taking the inner sole template and cutting around it. Perfect. I need this to fit inside the shoe, so I'm making it slightly smaller. Looking good. Press it into shape. Wow, it already looks amazing. Now I'm taking some more molding chocolate. Roll it flat again. And now I'm cutting out the side of the shoe using the template. Perfect. This is going to wrap around the shoe, just like so. This is why it's important to use the moulding chocolate, because you can bend it to shape. We're repeating that process on the other side of the shoe. I'm now covering the chocolate in some more blue buttercream frosting. Looking good. Smooth it down and now take some white icing in a piping bag with a special nozzle to do some trim. We're going to do this all around the rim of the shoe. Just like so. I'm going to add one giant dot at the bottom and put on a snowflake piece of candy. I'm now decorating the rest of the shoe with some tiny snowflakes. These look super cute. Once you've finished doing that, add some white dots to add a bit more decoration and texture to the shoe. I'm using some plain white icing to do this. Finally, I'm adding white dots in between the sponge and the blue icing. This is really intricate work, so you'll need to be patient. This is going to go all the way around the shoe. And there you have it. Doesn't that look super cool? Not only does it look amazing, but it's going to taste fantastic too. There you have it, an Elsa shoe cake, here on Hoopla Kids Recipes. Thanks for watching. Bye!